it's time to open some vintage Pokemon tins. Let's go. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today, I am just absolutely hyped and very humble because we've just gotten to 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So we're going to be doing a little special video and a giveaway on this video. Um, if you want to win this beautiful sealed Champions Path Elite trainer box that I've been hyping up for the past month or however long I put those videos at the end of my videos, um, all you have to do is like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below just any positive comment about Pokemon have you been able to get shining fates um, have you even pulled the shiny Charizard V Max um, anything that you want all the you know talk about a bit about the tins just leave a comment below all the details and the rules and stuff are in the description below it doesn't matter where you are in the world Botswana Zimbabwe Aust Australia Austria <laughs> anywhere you can just leave a comment below like the video subscribe to the channel and you've got a chance to win at the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. The winner will be picked in roughly two weeks when we do our weekly Pokey Post video. Again, all of the details are in there. But yeah, today's video, a um, little celebration of 2,000 subscribers. We've got the free um, XY space set sort of era tins. Um, these contain Greninja and but also like really epic packs like Flash Fire. And also, I just want to show you these tins, guys. They're just so epic. Let's, let's just get into it. Gotta catch them. <laughs> And here are the Kalos Pokemon Power Tins, all three of them from 2014. I'm so hyped to open these. I never really, I wasn't around during the start of the XY or the black and white era, so to be able to show you lovely people, these um, quote-unquote vintage tins now, I would have to say. You know, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, yes, once again, a big thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel, made this giveaway possible. Giveaway? Well, yeah, there's a giveaway as well. Remember to read the comments below if you want to be entered into, obviously, to win the uh, Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. I put that as an extra motivation in the back here, just so you lovely people can see, like, what, what are you going to win? What are you going to win? Who knows? Who knows? So I put the tins here as well, and... Uh, yeah, I, I never I never really was around during um, 2014. I started playing just after Steam Siege came out in 2016 and during the Evolutions hype and all that, just after Pokemon Go. And uh, yeah, I, very, I haven't opened that much fla Flash Fire or any of the Plasma sets, so I'll take a closer look at these beautiful promos. Let's have a look what they're like. Oh, so there's Chestnut, the Grass Starter, obviously evolves from Chespin. Um, it doesn't it looks like there's some slight sort of bends on it, but that's fine. Um maybe for like a nice buy in the collection or something. But yeah, I, I didn't really get a chance to play, you know, uh, much of the XY games or um the XY format. I got to do a little bit of the XY cards, obviously breakthrough, Scarlet so, so so I think according one of the videos I saw, there should be let, let's have a think, there should be two flash fire. So one flash fire, one XY base, one plasma bars, one plasma freeze. <gasps> Oh my goodness, so we got, there's no Plasma Freeze, which is the older pack, but I'd much rather take two Flash Fire anyway, because we want to pull, ladies and gentlemen, that Charizard, that Charizard EX, Mega Charizard EX from Flash Fire. Um, here's the code for the Chestnut if anybody wants it. So here are the packs. Um, we're going to go for the oldest packs first, and then we'll go work our way back to the to the newest ones. So yeah, um, we'll put the tins up there so you can see. Remember to read the description below if you want to see how to enter the giveaway. But yeah, it's crazy. We only celebrated 1,500 subscribers as recently as, you know, as recently as 1,500, 1,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. Patrick, did I do that right? Yep. We only celebrated 1,000 subscribers as recently as only like four months ago. Rare candy, busted. So to get to 2,000 now, it was around four months, like five months or so. Ah, beautiful squirrel. Uh, I'm going to look at, it would be the first time seeing some of these arts for a while because I don't get to open black and white or older packs very often, so... Yeah, hopefully we can pull something WTF epic. Oh, okay, that's nice. Look at that vertical like cross, like that that vertical hollow there on the Machamp. That is beautiful. You know, first time seeing this Machamp, I absolutely love it. And it looks like it's in decent condition. It's just been sitting in the tin there for a while. Beautiful Machamp there. So back then, hollows were just as good as EXs and stuff because you know you'd. You know, there was you. You only pull like maybe two or three EXs per booster box or something on average. Uh, I don't know. It was the pull rates were very low, and then obviously um, in XY, XY came out in 2014. No Charizard, but there is a beautiful fill up Ble Venusaur, fill up Blastoise. I'd absolutely love to pull, and also Xerneas and your Veltel cards. So 
obviously these didn't came with energies so you do free for the back if you wanted to do the pack trick so yeah big shout out also to the lovely Ilya from russia he had these tins and um i really wanted to you know open something cool for you guys to celebrate celebrate 2000 you know 2000 subscribers i love the artwork on on that and next week we're going to be opening um let's see if i got one of them over here we're going to be opening up the vintage theme decks no booster packs but i'd love to sh you know show you guys those vintage theme decks the, the base set two ones and then hopefully um we can get some nice hollows from there because I got, I got those theme decks at a good price and i just thought they'd be made, make a cool little video i might, might open some packs as well at the same time just to say like i can open you know open something because i love opening packs and you know ah trick shovel this was a very good very good card when played in the sable eye deck it's a flash fire yeah we want to see those charizards Reverse hollows aren't overly exciting in these sets, but um, it's all about that. So we got a reverse hollow sneasel and oh, so is this the is this the good Milotic? Once during your turn, you may knock out this Pokemon. You do attach three basic energy cards. Yeah, so this is the busted Milotic that you can use in the Dustron Trevenant deck and expanded. Saw it's been seen a lot of play. That's a beautiful. Can we get into the sleepies? And that's just a beautiful card. So you can just see like within a year they changed from the X from the black and white style there. They changed the hollows to the to that sort of more like rainbow shimmery, shimmery pattern there. But yeah, I'm also I'm very excited to open these packs for you lovely people. And uh, yeah, one of you will be winning that Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. All you have to do is like the video, leave subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. You know, have you get have you did you were you around when these sets first came out? Did you get to open any of these packs? You know. I just any just leave any any comment below. Just you know, what's your favourite Pokemon? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter where you are. It, all over the world, you've got a chance to win that um, Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. Shout out to Lee there. He love, loves his Espers. And wow, we're actually doing quite well for hits because Hollows kind of count as hits for the older era stuff. I would say that's a beautiful Pyro. I love that. And this is another one of the strong cards. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic. So it's similar to what the Obstagoon. Um, does nowadays, but and um, this is only a stage one, so it was a bit, it was a bit easier, it was a bit easier to get out. So yeah, decent pulls there. We didn't get anything overly WTF epic from the. Uh, where's that Esper gone? I need to keep that to the side for for our lovely friend, right? We didn't get anything over oh, anything overly w, WTF epic from that. I'm gonna save the Greninja tin for the last because Greninja is obviously the most popular one. We've got a beautiful Del Fox here, so it'll be interesting to see whether these tins, because as they're released at the same time, they should all have. The same packs, but sometimes, you know, sometimes they're mixed up a bit. So let's see if this Delphox promo is in slightly better condition than the Chestnut. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful promo. Yeah, that looks to be in that looks to be in a lot nicer condition. There's still some like minor wear and tear from being inside the box and stuff, but yeah, good chance at a nine on that. Look at that beautiful Delphox. Obviously evolves from Fennekin and then into Brakesin, which is in obviously in, in Brakesin Charizard and the on the tag team card which is quite cool so put that at the back there and um yeah we're gonna see what packs we've got in here so i wish i was playing around this era because there was a lot of other cool decks going on and you know i just i love just the xy pokemon and stuff i never really played the video game or any of the other stuff so yeah it looks like the packs the pack lineup is exactly the same here so we've got six chances guys to pull a charizard from from flashfire so there's like roughly a one in there's that, I don't know what the exact pull rates, but there's a there are seven Charizard cards in Flashfire, including that secret rare Mega Charizard EX, um, the Dragon type one, which I think a PSA eight or eight point five recently sold for three hundred and seventy dollars, and that was just an eight, so eight point five. I think an eight point five is pretty much the same as an eight in terms of value because. You know, I don't think anyone would count it as a 9. Depends how rare the card was. I don't think there'd be much difference between an 8.5 and a 9 on an Illustrator. Let's say a Pokemon Illustrator. But, yeah. Larvesta, Muna, Carablast, and... Oh, it's a Suicune. I've not seen the Suicune before. That's beautiful. That's the first time actually seeing this. And it's got Safeguard as well. That's pretty cool. So, I'll probably still sleeve that up with Suicune's. Suicune's always a quite, quite a cool little card to get. So, we haven't got any WTF Epic Pools yet, but... Wasn't overly expecting it from random tins, but we'll see. XY, I would love to show you the full art, your Veltel, Xerneas. Like, obviously, these are first, the first XY pack. <clears throat> so, what do we, okay, the codes are that way around. So, there's a code. Have a code. Anyone, if you play, leave a comment below. Also, if you play expanded, you, you know, what are your favourite decks from this era? I'd really love to know. 
Dewblade, Scatterbud, Weagle, Rhyhorn. Oh, look at that busted Bidoof. The meme, the meme lord himself. Spoink. <gasps> wow, and a Cloyster. That's actually really nice. Such a shame about the centering on this Pikachu, though. Look at that. So, like, left to right. It's very rarely I get to pull a vintage Pikachu. Oh, that centering really screws it over. So, I'll still sleeve it up, but <clears throat> that's, that's beautiful. Though. I love the, look at the um, the reverse hole of the lightning bolt pattern on that. Absolutely gorgeous. This pre this PVG was printed so many times, I swear. It was like, it had so many reprints, so many, you know, alternate arts and stuff. Right, we're going to get, we must get an EX from one of these packs. We've got uh, four, eight, 12 packs in total. There's a good chance we can pull at least one EX, I would have to say. Right, three from the back. Obviously, if you're in Sun and Moon or Sword and Shield era, guys, um, the pack trick's usually four from the back because there is a energy card. I don't know why they started putting the energy cards in them. Maybe, maybe to make the boxes heavier. I don't know. I really have no idea why they decided to put them, put the energy cards in there. That weevil, that weevil is pretty cool. I love that weevil. That's pretty sweet. And you got the um, the dark energy symbol there on the reverse hollow pattern. Right. Hopefully the uh, Greninja tin will bring us a bit more luck. And if the Greninja's in nice condition, we might end up grading that. But it's all about, you know, finding cool things to show you guys. Like this, these sets now are probably considered vintage because it's been like eight, nine years since they came out. So, you know, it's you can't really just go to the store and find these. Flash Fire, for example, the pack that we're opening at the moment. A booster box of Flash Fire will set you back 3000 to $3,500, like £2,700 on eBay at the moment in, in the UK. So very, very expensive. People want to pull those... You want to pull those Charizards and, you know, get those epic pulls. So that box was very disappointing. We didn't even get a hollow or a, you know, the best. We got the reverse hollow Pikachu and the Sweet King. So it's all about this Greninja tin now. Let's see if we can, um, you know, get something epic. So yeah, please remember to leave a comment. Enter the giveaway. Okay, I just smacked into the camera there. So experiencing technical difficulties. Right, here's the Greninja tin. Let's have a look how, the, how our beautiful Greninja is. So fun fact, when XY came out in Japan... Greninja was actually voted the most popular Pokemon of quote unquote of all time. It was a bit skewed because obviously the XY show was out and people loved the anime with Greninja and um, you know with Ash and stuff. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think it's all right. I might still get get graded. I'm not sure. It might be. It might have some like, indents or something, but it still looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put the Greninja on the on the plinth just in case we don't pull anything else. But we must pull, we must have one epic pull from these tins. Right, so there's the Greninja code. Do we have um, the same pack lineup again? Yep, Flashfire, X. Oh, some different artworks, so that's pretty cool. So, one of the videos that I saw um, actually had um, Plasma Freeze in these tins, but they must have reprinted them, or maybe because um, the person from Australia, perhaps they perhaps they didn't have um, the Plasma Freeze, but that's fine. I, like, I really like Plasma Blast. This is the last black and white set before that special set, Legendary Treasures, and uh, there's, there's a chance we can pull a Full Art Jirachi EX, Palkia EX, or Dialga EX in here. So lots of people are excited potentially about the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes maybe coming late in the year. Who knows? But Silver Bangle, that's not bad. Musharuna, Axu, Golitz, and some beautiful artwork in these sets as well. Teddy Ursa, another, another Squirrel. I think we got the Squirrel twice now. Solosis and a... Well... <laughs> At least we got an evolution, like, absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. Right. So, black and white packs. We got a Machamp from that first one, actually. It wasn't too bad. So now XY. Oh, you can actually see here, once again, you've got that, like, glue or heat line, like, going running down the pack, as we saw in some of our previous videos. Um, yeah, we're also opening these this weekend, because the Shining Fates um, situation has been a bit, bit sad, unfortunately. Uh, I wanted to make sure that as many of my customers got as much Shining Fates as possible, so I, I didn't keep any back for myself to open i think over the course of the couple of days i was packing cards i think i opened like three maybe four booster packs tops just randomly just you know here and there oh no nice number pikachu and oh there is a there is an energy card in this one team flare grant and an age of slash wah, wah, wah. and yeah the shining fake situation starts i thought i'd just do the giveaway now you know show off some really cool wtf epic packs vintage packs i mean you would expect from free tins that we could pull maybe one EX of some description, but you know, you know how the luck goes sometimes. You win some, you lose some. I just wanted to show you guys these epic tins, you know, celebrate, you know, get into 2,000 subscribers. And also giving away the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. Um, all DLs for the giveaway in the description. Make sure you leave a comment below, that would make me really happy. 
And uh, yeah, we've also got our Patreon, Patreon forward slash Patreon.com forward slash Playscape Games. And we've already had a huge upturn, upturn in members on the Patreon. So we only started, I believe, like Tuesday and Wednesday of this week when this video is going out. And we've already got like 11, 11 members, including like six members from the Squirtle tier, which is the one where you get all the bonus content um, videos and stuff. I already posted a whole bunch of updates about Shining Fates, Japanese stuff, Eevee Heroes, and there's a video where you get to find out how to buy your own Japanese cards and products from Japan, directly from Japan, which is really awesome. So click the link in the description, check out the Patreon if you get a chance. Centric Gumi, last chance for some last pack magic. Oh no! Right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave this, guys. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna um, try and rescue ourselves with two vivid voltage packs. I was hoping for one ex pull from those tins, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna probably grade them a champ. Maybe the Suiku, maybe the Milotic, and probably the, have a look at the promos but later. But maybe vivid voltage can rescue us. Maybe we can just get super lucky. Um, there's the uh, beautiful Grookey promo. That's like I'm gonna be in a lot. They they package promos a lot better now. There is like a print line, but for the most part, like promos are packaged very well nowadays. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have two packs of Vivid Voltage just just in case we can rescue it. Who knows what's gonna happen? But yeah, so we're back to we're back to uh, modern now. So it's four from the back because of the energy uh, water darkness. And yeah, but yeah, please remember to subscribe. Please leave a comment below if you want to be entered to the giveaway. And we're going to be doing lots of Shining Fates stuff next week, I think. So make to make up for the lack of Shining Fates, to make up for the lack of Shining Fates this week. So yeah, last pack magic, real last pack magic this time because you know sadness. There's the beautiful Score Bunny promo. Oh, there's a nice little hollow swell. Now check that out. Check that out later. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to giving away that Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. It'll be in roughly two weeks um, during the Pokey Post videos that usually go out on Sunday. Make sure you um, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, please also, when, if you're leaving a comment and you're not sure what to comment, just think, what, what kind of videos would you like to see? What packs would you like me to open? Would you like me to open more vintage, more Japanese? You know, just be quicker with like English stuff. Make sure I have Shining Fates like when the set comes out, that kind of thing. I'd really love to know your thoughts. Kakuna and a okay, there we go. <laughs> we finished with a nice Waylord Hollow, so all was not lost in the end. To, to, to be honest, like these Hollows, like there's some nice things here. Like you got the Suiku, you got the Pyro, the Milo. Too. That Machamp is absolutely beautiful. If that gets a PSA ten, that might be might be a nice one in the future. And of course, with tins, you're never never gonna lose out because you get these beautiful promos from the XY era. So yeah, very very happy of those. But please remember to. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and like the video, and you've got a chance to win this beautiful Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. Thank you so much again for all the support. Hopefully we can get to 3,000 even quicker. <laughs> I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider checking out our Patreon. These people did here, and they are part of the Playscape Games Patreon crew. They've got awesome rewards, behind the scenes content, extra videos, and all sorts of other stuff. So please check out the Patreon, click the link in the description, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.